It was for our salvation. You did whatever it took, even if it was wrong. One day, my name was brought up and I was to be married. I was 14. Young girls married off to grown men justified in the name of religion. It is an investigation Arizona's family has been part of for decades, and a new Netflix documentary recently put the spotlight back on the FLDS church and its cult-like activities. Well, now the church's imprisoned leader, Warren Jeffs, appears to be re-exerting his influence in the Twin Cities of Hilldale, Utah, and Colorado City, Arizona. And a family is pleading for help, saying Jeffs is still running the FLDS church from behind bars, and yet another young girl has disappeared onto his compound up near the Arizona-Utah border. Mike Watkiss closely covered this story for decades with us on Arizona's family, and tonight he's coming out of retirement to report again on this important story. It's been a long time since I traveled up to the Utah-Arizona border, and in that time, so much has changed in the joint community of Hilldale, Utah, in Colorado City, Arizona. Much of it seemingly for the good, but there are those who now fear that the clouds of the past may once again be gathering. Mr. Jeffs, did you rape those two girls? It was 11 years ago this month that polygamous prophet Warren Jeffs was found guilty of raping two young girls and then sent to a Texas prison cell for what will probably be the rest of his life. I love all of you. Prison walls, however, have not silenced Jeffs. Over the years, lots of messages and edicts issued from behind bars. But last month, something different from Jeffs. A so-called revelation from God that's setting off alarms among Jeffs' critics while being greeted with, quote, gratitude and delight by Warren Jeff's FLDS faithful. It's always good news to hear from him. If that's why we're here still after this many years. Now it just feels like it's just crushing us so slowly. I think they call that torture. Yeah, it's killing us. In the revelation issued June 3rd, Jeffs tells his faithful that after a nearly decade-long moratorium on marriages, the performance of celestial plural marriages will soon commence again. That is, of course, for those who are deemed worthy. The revelation also calls on some who have been ousted to return to the church and for fathers to gather up their children. FLDS faithful reportedly yeah. elated at the prospect of resuming marriages and of families being reunited after hundreds were torn apart by Warren Jeffs. The FLDS have been through trauma from the inside, from the outside, and every which way. Christine Marie runs a charitable organization in Colorado City called Voices for Dignity, providing help and support to FLDS families. From what I'm being told, that the FLDS are related by it because they have families that are being reunited. There's hope for marriages to resume in the future. So many hearts are being broken and this has got to stop. Ex-FLDS members Maxine Jessup and her husband Daniel reacting with fear and anger at the prospects of FLDS plural marriages once again being performed. One month ago, the couple's 17-year-old daughter went to visit her two older sisters, Maxine and Dan's 19-year-old twins, who are members of the FLDS church. The couple says they haven't seen their 17-year-old daughter since. Do you think your daughter, 17-year-old, being sort of pulled back into the fold is part of this larger effort of Warren and now his son to start doing the celestial polygamist marriage, underage marriages again. That is my greatest fear. Yeah. Is that wow. she is getting sucked into that. In the revelation, Warren Jeffs also mentions one of his sons, Helaman Jeffs, identifying Helaman as the distributor of the message, a message that also asks for prayers for Warren's release. Families are being torn apart because of this FLDS religion. They're pulling people, just ripping families apart. There was this revelation from Warren that was on June 3rd uh, that uh, 
Helaman Jeffs is going to be gathering up the people and start performing marriages. He uh, lets everybody know that the Lord wants Helaman to gather these people and start doing these marriages and just carrying on. Who is this Helaman? Is he the next? Is he the next guy? The next big dog here? Yes. That's what it sounds like. Don't get any choices in the FLDS. Ruth Stubbs knows the story well. Back in 2002, a then 19-year-old Ruth Stubbs fled Colorado City with her two small children pregnant with a third. Ruth then sat down with me to tell the explosive story of how at the age of 16 she was married by Warren Jess to a 32-year-old police officer named Rodney Holm a man who already had two wives and nearly 20 children. You were 16 when you became impregnated, when you got pregnant? Uh-huh. By Arizona law, that's a crime. Do you know that? I didn't know at the time. Do you know now? I know now. Now that I left, I know. Prosecutors in St. George, Utah, picking up on the case and convicting Rodney Holm of sexually assaulting a minor and sending him to jail. A case that set the stage for criminal charges against Warren Jeffs. Ruth is now helping her friends, Maxine and Dan, try to get back their 17-year-old daughter. They took her, saying they were going to bring her back in a week, and then called and said, no, we're never bringing her back. They crossed her across state lines. I want my daughter back. I want to spend the last couple months of her being underage with us. Maxine and Dan realize time is running out to rescue their daughter before she turns 18 next year. They have gone to a court in Utah and have a hearing later this month. What are your fears that if she stays there and doesn't come back to you, what's going to happen to her? She's going to be continue to be brainwashed and then she'll end up in a plural situation where she has no choice. A situation now made much more likely the Jessup's fear, thanks to the recent revelation from incarcerated prophet Warren Jeffs, a revelation being greeted with wildly different reactions on the opposite sides of the giant polygamy divide. Why would my family have five, six generations in this yeah. if it wasn't good? I just want the FLDS to leave us alone. I want them to just leave us alone.